Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, right now we are standing at a NARC fuel station of Water Sources Research Institute. Uh, the objective was today's uh, uh, documentary or the shooting is that we should demonstrate the center pivot irrigation system, its performance, its issues, its advantages to the farming community so that they can think of adopting it. So in my background you can see there is a, a big machine uh, standing on the wheels. This machine is called center pivot irrigation system. We call it as center pivot because pivot is right in the center and the machine revolves around on the wheels across the entire field. Mm -hmm. The advantage of this irrigation system is that it suits to large scale farming systems where you have a large land holdings and that land holding must be cleared from the obstacles because the machine has to move on across the field. And since applying irrigation water is a challenge on a large field, uh, and it's a labor intensive as well so this machine can basically provide the minimum amount of irrigation water to all fields with a lot of efficiency. The efficiency can go up to 90% if design has been properly made. Uh, this machine has a three or four components. The most important one is the water storage. You can see the tank on, the, on, on my uh, right hand side. So you need a reservoir from where you need to pump the water. And then for obviously pumping the water you need some sort of prime mover. Either it could be a diesel operated prime mover or it could be electricity driven prime mover. And then you need basically that, that uh, whole machine which comprises of the pivot on the, on the center. And then there is an arm through which the water flows and then there are the vertical drop sprinkler systems which basically sprays the water as the machine moves on. So basically gradually you need to increase the discharge of the sprinklers as you move away from the pivot. and the, the problem with this center pivot irrigation system is though it has a lot of advantages that your corners can be left unirrigated because it operates in a circular fashion so to, to consider about that limitation we provide the end gun at the end of this arm and which can basically irrigate the leftover part of the field which are the corners so very effective technique you can have a large scale uh, land holdings uh, can easily be benefited from this it is most suitable for the larger farmers. It can operate for a size of minimum 5 acres up to 100 acres. So it can go for any size. And it is more economical if you have installed it on a larger scale. The best crops basically for this type of irrigation system is your field crops. Like in Pakistan you can grow the wheat, you can go for maize or you can go for some other field crops uh, like, uh, like your cotton or something like that. And it is not suitable basically for your vegetables or for your gardens. So uh, disadvantage comes that it is a capital intensive investment. You need a high initial investment and then also the operational investment is very high because a lot of energy is required to operate this machine. And that machine um, energy already is struggling in Pakistan with the energy crisis. So we have to think about that. And then obviously you need some skilled labor to operate it and some security measures are required to take care of the installations in the field when you are not there. So. Uh, Yes, obviously for small farmers it, it cannot be a, a good uh, technology right, right now, but for a large scale farmers, yes, it is a good technology and you can apply the minimum amount of water uh, more efficiently and uniformly across your large land holdings. So uh, perhaps the biggest potential of this app, um, uh, technology application in Pakistan is in Potohar area or in, in, in areas where uh, you have the big land holdings like in the Sindh or in the uh, southern of the Punjab the farmers can afford it.